it's no one can force you to change your name brother for the answer question i think we are uh, uh, passing the limits there is uh, there are so many reason questions i ask only one question and i think uh, this will be are there many people who want to ask question i think this will be the last question uh how do we prove existence of allah that is a question that is asked the question that how do we prove the existence of allah subhanahu wa taala and i think that's called for a lecture and then anyway, we for the full answer brother you can refer to my video cassette in the quran god's word part 1 and part 2 it's approximately 4 hours and that gives the complete answer to prove the existence of allah subhanahu wa taala but still in a nutshell i'll tell me the best to prove the existence of allah subhanahu wa taala normally if you, and first thing a person who does not believe in god almighty the first thing that i will do brother is congratulate him if a person who does not believe in god almighty the first thing i'll do is congratulate him you'll ask people will be astonished why is that you're congratulating an atheist i congratulate him because he has agreed with the first part of the shahada la ilaha there is no god now my job is to prove illa allah who is alone inshallah it becomes easier if you believe in a fake god you have to prove first that the god is fake and then prove this is the right god he done the job half job is done he has said the first part of the shahada la ilaha there is no god you now have to prove illa allah which inshallah try to all right to ask a question the suppose there is an unidentified object which no one in the world has seen no one ever has seen that object if i ask the question the who will be the first person who will be able to tell the mechanism of that object if i ask the question some may say that the creator of that object no one has seen that object it's absolutely new no one in the world has seen if i want to know the mechanism who will be able to tell the mechanism person who has created it a person some may say the producer some may say the manufacturer whatever it is don't grapple with the world it will be somewhat similar the first person who will be able to tell the mechanism will be the person who has created it the person who manufactured it the person who produced it after it if it tells to someone else he'll know it or a person who does research but the first person will be the person who is the creator this answer is given to you by the atheist god the atheist he will give you the answer then you proceed that how was the universe created you ask him so we will tell you that by the big bang theory that initially there was one primary nebula and then there was second day explosion a big bang which gave rise to galaxies the sun the moon the planet earth that's how the universe came into existence you ask him when did you learn this he will say yesterday and it was in 1970 there are a couple of unbelieving scientists got the prize for this for discovering the big bang theory yesterday you tell him that see, this thing is mentioned in the holy quran 14 years ago in surah al-anbiya chapter number 21 verse number 30 we say awlam yara alladhina kafaru do not the unbeliever see anna samawati wal arda kan barat ka mustaqna huma that the heavens and the earth were joined together and we close them asunder my holy quran speaks about your big bang theory which we discovered yesterday 14 years ago who could have written that in the holy quran you say maybe it's a fluke maybe somebody wrote no not you possible see when you do learn that the earth was spherical he will say 200 years back or 300 years back actually it was in 1597 when sir francis drake when he traveled around the earth he proved that the world was spherical So you tell him that the Quran says in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 29, and Surah Al-Zumar, chapter number 39, verse number 5, and Surah Nazir, chapter number 79, verse number 30. We can prove from these three verses that the world is spherical. Who could have written that in the Holy Quran? You say maybe it's a guess. So what? Some people can guess. No argument. You ask him that the light of this moon is its own light. or it is a reflected light he will tell you it's a reflected light you ask him when you discovered this he will say yesterday yesterday in time in 50 years back 100 years back previously what did they think he will tell you the atheists that previously we thought the light of the moon was its own but now we discovered in science it is a reflected light you tell him this is mentioned in the holy quran in surah furqan 
chapter number 25, verse number 61, that the light of the moon, of the Kamar, it is Muni, it is Noor, it's a reflection of light. It is borrowed light. You ask him, who could have mentioned the Quran? When he says it's a pro human heaven, but it's possible three guesses people could have made. No argument. Continue. Quran speaks about the rotation of the sun, which science discovered recently. This is Al-Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 33. Quran speaks about sky as a protected ceiling. In Surah Al-Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 31. Quran says that the sun will one day extinguish the signs that discovered recently. In Surah, uh, Surah Yasin, verse number 38. In several places, you ask him, who could have mentioned this? Now he hesitated to say it's a flow. Continue. Quran says, speaks about the water cycle. 400 years ago, which we discovered recently. 200 years back. 300 years back. Quran says that the plants have got sexes, males and females, 14 years ago. Who could have written that? Quran mentions the fruits have got sexes, males and females. In Surah Ra, chapter number 13, verse number 3. Quran speaks that in between the water, between two bodies of water, salt and sweet, there is a barrier. Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 53. In Surah Rahman, chapter number 55, verse number 19. Who could have mentioned this? You can keep there are more than a thousand verses in the Quran which speaks about science. Quran speaks about embryology, about the various embryological stages. In Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 12 to 14. In Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 5. Quran speaks about genetics. Quran speaks about fingerprinting method. Quran speaks about pain receptors. Every scientific time you ask, you post, ask him who could have mentioned that 14 years back. It has to come to the original answer. It has to be the creator. It has to be the manufacturer of the universe. It has to be the producer of the universe. You tell him that this creator, this manufacturer, we call in Arabic as Allah. And then give him the definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. Hope that answers the question. But the complete answer, brother, you can refer to my video cassette, is the Quran God's word. Sorry? Next trip. Next trip, Allah knows best. <laughs> Inshallah, but <coughs> local contact is Brother Muhammad Sayyiduddin. You can take his number down as well as with Abdul Majid. I mean, you can take the phone numbers down and whatever information you want regarding Arab, you can have from them. They have all the information. Makhrud Dawan, alhamdulillah. Brothers, here I got so many questions. Uh, most of the questions are answered and the answers are available in the video cassettes which are being, uh, which are available here for sale. So you can get the answers from the cassettes. Thank you very much.